in the meantime. So how many, I think besides one, everyone's first word cam. Am I right? Everyone's first word cam. How are you finding the word cam? Interesting, boring. Have you all interacted with the community? Do you find any inspiration of joining the community? <laughs> because community, when people join, that is the time when people, the community grows. Because one person cannot stay along for X number of years, just solely doing it. Because I feel community grows only when a person contributes and purchase, a person reaches out to people and tells, you know, take over, do organize events. So to organize a word camp, first we start with building the local community. So there is a local community in Nagpur. We conduct, they conduct regular uh, meetups. So I am a co-organizer in Mumbai. I'm the mo I'm from the Mumbai community. So we organize meetups. Meetups can be on any topic related either to WordPress, design, development, or we even have casual meetups. We even have, uh, so there are days called translation days and contributor days. So we even organize a meetup for translation day. So the global community has a team called Polygots. So in September, the full month of September is called Translation Month. So around the entire globe, wherever the WordPress communities are, they organize either the full month or one of the days in the month they organize a meetup. Meetup can be one hour, meetup can be 10 hours. We sit together in a room like that. We have uh, breakfast together, we have lunch together and we sit and translate. Translate is nothing but taking the English and putting it into your language. You don't need to be a coder, you don't need to be a developer. Neither you need to be an expert in WordPress. As long as you know he translates into what in your language, it and the sentence makes sense, you can submit it because once you're, once you submit, it will go to a GT. They will either approve or reject because at the day it needs to make, it needs to make sense with the way that it is getting displayed. So when the WordPress backend is getting displayed in French and the mismatch of the wordings is not exactly the translation of French, the, the person will not understand using it. So either the GT rejects it or approves it. I'll just yeah I'll wait for a few minutes so I have been in the WordPress Mumbai community from 2016 I just missed WordCamp Mumbai 2016 by a day or two and Initially, I re registered with the community. I was excited to know my peer uh, people because I had a problem in my code. Google doesn't have answers to everything. You need, no, no, this, this wire is, this is the wire. yes, but it's okay. You want my phone, I can put it here. Yeah. So a lot of us have experience in, in different we do a lot of development. So I will be doing only focus one of like WooCommerce, someone will be doing a donation plugin. So when, if I get a donation request from a customer and I don't have full knowledge, Google doesn't have all. At least, you know, you have someone to talk to. You know, you know that even if the person doesn't know you, they can give you a brief or they can give you a out, outline. This is the way it is supposed to go. 
So at least then you, your mind starts working. That is the reason I joined this community and this community has given me a lot of things. It's given me friendship, it's given me the opportunity to travel. It's actually helped me set up a business with a colleague. It has helped me uh, be a part of global interviews. I was asked to be a part of 5.6, the all women squad release. I'm not a core developer, but I know where to get the things done. I was in documentation. I, I said, let's give it a try. Like everyone feels contribution is only development. I think tomorrow you'll have contributors, right? Participate, it's not development. This thing that WordPress contribution is only development, that's wrong. There are a lot of other things. There's marketing, there's polygods, there is photo. There is a ton a lot of. There is just answering support queries, uh, TV, if you like video editing, if you like, uh, if you know the quality of videos, there's WordPress TV, you can help in upload the videos. Because post pre-pandemic, we had word camps all around the globe and we used to have multiple word camps. So the number of videos were very, the volume was very high. So if word camp, say today word camp Nagpur is there, but there's also word camp in Italy. So their videos, our videos, and these are either self-sponsored contributors who dedicate their time towards the project or paid contributors. A lot of people ask me, why do you dedicate your time to the project? The project has given me so much. The project is helping me live a life. Why not help something to give back and make the software better? So that's why I contribute. Okay, let me get back to my topic. Benefits of being a part of a community. As most of you all don't know me, my name is Meher Bala. I'm a WordPress consultant specialized in front-end development. Uh, I'm a part of a freelance WordPress marketplace named Codable. I'm a partner at Hearty Host. This is because of the community. The partner at Hearty Host would have not been there if I didn't know the community. Expert at Codable would have not been there if I didn't know the community. Active in open source, co-organizer of WordCamp Mumbai, WordCamp India, WordPress Translation Day. This is also because I took the initiative of being a part of the community. This is my favorite. This started in a pandemic and this is to know people's story behind. Like, what do you do in your daily life? How you got started with WordPress? Why are you still on to WordPress and what is the reason? This is my podcast, video podcast. So this, I will, in this talk, I'll be sharing you learnings and insights of being a part of a tech community during the last seven years of mine. So, what do you, you all feel? What is a community? Anyone? It's okay if you all have the wrong answers, no problem. A group of people interested uh, in a common cause. Right. Perfect. So, a group of people who interact with one another and share a common goal and vision. It can be in a physical place like right now or a virtual place the last two and two and a half years we have been online. Being a part of an engaging community gives all of us a sense of belonging. At times we forget when we interact with someone, the, the human in us wants to interact with people. 
if you're left by yourself there is no growth there is no growth in your uh, skill set there's no growth in your mindset when you talk to people you understand their culture you understand their background you understand their mindset your mindset changes you understand how the world around you is connecting as a part of a meaning community is important for well-being and mental health because if you're in that one room of usually developers or freelancers are in the one room code from morning nine nine o'clock to nine o'clock night sometimes we eat drink everything in that one place we don't get up from the table for hours and hours i have done that myself and i'm guilty as well i will not say that when you get up when you see the world you know okay something is happening around you when you talk to people in your own community oh this event is there i did not know like a lot of time my colleague vachan he keeps on pinging me this event is there i'm like really okay i will check i will register a lot of events like cloud fair cloud bazaar i have been introduced to because of my colleagues around me you don't know everything and every one and everything on the internet internet is vast why join a tech community this was my first word camp so we as teenagers and kids i'm sure all of us were part of any community be it religion be it sports be it uh, academics we were a part of a community we used to interact but somehow i feel when we come into adult and work a 9 to 5 job we don't want to join our community because after 5 we just want chill we don't have time and a lot of people have told me community is boring tech community is boring there is no fun you only talk about code 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 but no it is a lot of things if you stop talking about code everyone will stop talking about code but if you only talk about code it is difficult for the other person to talk anything else behind besides code so the first time when i joined the mumbai community i did not know what to expect i joined because i needed new friendship i needed new opportunities if today this is your first word camp and you feel this is this can be my community if i put a little attention to it stick with it but if you are uncomfortable and if it this doesn't feel your home don't push yourself find a community which makes you feel safe which increases your skill set growing a community takes ample of time and energy if you become a part of wordcamp nagpur com- community after this before starting to think that the community is this way community is that way first understand the community around you understand the people around you understand what they do how they work how they organize events because it's easy to say hey, events is nothing you can organize it's it's very easy but it goes a lot of time effort taking out your time from your work busy schedule your life and organizing things for a community so first try and understand the community around you once you're part of the community and if you're confident get yourself involved try and grow the community when i entered i was the only woman i was hesitant i'll be honest i was like there is no one i could have backed out it would have been my loss it would have been no one else's loss i gave the community a chance when i started speaking to the organizers they were nice they made me feel like home they didn't make me feel like a outsiders they approached me they spoke to me the 
my colleague Alexander Grounder, he approached me via meetup and said that, you know, you, you are part of this meetup, you know, why are you not coming to next meetups? He made me feel comfortable. Everyone around me made me feel comfortable. Though at times there were, I got lost with addresses, which I'm bad at, but eventually everything comes in place. When you're part of something, you're greater than yourself. I always feel that we have a lot of choices around ourselves. We can be a part of multiple communities. I'm a part of multiple communities, be it WordPress, Mumbai community, WooCommerce community, international community, communities. You can either be a part of everything or one, but choose which makes you feel safe and comfortable. There is no sense in pushing yourself just because you want your name to be out there. Because if you do that, you will never attract the right signals. You will always attract the signals which you don't want. So try to be comfortable. It takes time to get, mingle around with people. I understand. Give it time. Take that first steps. Be, be open. If someone is saying something against what you're saying, be open mind. Don't shut it. Everyone has its own opinions. Why am, an, uh, why am I an advocate of a community? I believe community can help each other in many aspects. Community can help us reach our goals and even build our confidence. When I first started and now, my confidence level has increased gradually because when I talk to people, when I meet people, when I interact with people and they tell me you're good, you're good, you're good, that time you start believing in yourself. And then you say, okay, I can do this. I never wanted to speak on WordCamps. I know a lot of my colleagues have been pushing me since last four or five years. I didn't want to because I didn't know what to speak. But when you start talking to people, when you know what to talk to, then you gain confidence in yourself and I applied. Also, sorry. One of the main reasons for me to be advocate is this community has given me the opportunity to travel. It has let me travel on my own to places like Nagpur, Nasik, Kolkata, Kochi, maybe Asia next year, I don't know. But when I started traveling, I understood I can do it. A lot of us, a lot of us women feel that we cannot travel alone because a lot of people around us told you women cannot travel alone, they cannot make the decision. But today's generation is different. Today's generation, we do things ourselves. We take the first step. So travel was my biggest plus point. Though my family doesn't approve of travel, but eventually they've learned to approve it. So, often I get questions, why are you joining the local community? Is community a waste of time and energy? There, there seems to be a few women, how will I survive? What are the benefits of the WordPress community? Joining my local community, one, gave me an opportunity to learn that besides plugins and themes, there are a lot of other things you can do with WordPress. You can set up a multi-site, you can uh, put the back end as WordPress, the front, as, front end as React. You can do a lot of things. Not only blogging, uh, company sites, corporate sites, you can create a donation plugin, you can create a membership plugin. Just a second. Thank you. <laughs> you can create a membership plugin. You can let people pay on what they download. Is community a waste of time? No. But if that's your thinking, 
then you will never get out of it. You will never give your attention to the community. You will be like, this is, this is not my, this is not where I want to be. So even if the community is giving you, it will be a brick wall against your face where you don't want to do anything. There are a few women, how will you survive? Yes, I agree there are a few women. I am not denying it. But if you don't put your first step, seeing you, a lot of others will follow. But you, someone needs to be the first step. Someone needs to take that bold decision of, fine, if I am one woman around 25 men, I will fight it. And today's women, a lot of today's women fight it. And the next generation, don't feel scared to put yourself in that position. Because seeing you, a lot of us will join. Women encourages women. And this is... Sorry. Sorry. This is the woman Wapu symbol. So, benefits of joining community, friendship and network. Everyone comes to this community, everyone comes to a tech community only thinking you will get projects, you will get work. But the base of any work relationship or work collaboration is friendship. If you don't develop the friendship with a person, how will that person trust you and give you a project? How will the person trust you and tell the client that this is my person, he's going to do with me, he's going to do the work and I fully trust him. First build the friendship, build the network. Then the work opportunity follows. If you have knowledge and if you expect the opposite person also has knowledge and everyone in the community has knowledge, I'm here only to gain knowledge. But no, you also need to give knowledge. You also need to share your knowledge. You don't need to be right on everything, but you need to share your knowledge. If someone is asking and you keep quiet and you know the answer and you keep quiet, that's wrong on your part. Because you're hiding information which you don't want to, but then you expect others which have the information to share it with you. That's not right. Be a mentor to someone. Travel, my best part of being a community. Inspiration. In this community, I have a lot of people who are inspiration. There are people from the global WordPress communities who selflessly do a lot of things for everyone look up to them, do what they are doing. Maybe someone someday will look up to you. Someday they will tell you, you are an inspiration for me. Support people. If you know someone is going alone to a word camp, support them. A lot of times when I am traveling alone or when I'm speaking or whether I'm alone in a meetup, my friend Vachan, he, whether he has work, he's drowning in work, he will always be there. Even if he's on a phone, he'll be there. He's not well, he still traveled with me from Bombay to Nagpur today. If he's a support for me, I am the support for him whenever he needs me, he knows that. It's always a two-way street. Share what you've got your knowledge with people. And this is the most important one, I believe. Community is a two-way street. If you only believe people will give you, give you, give you, and you're not going to give back, it is never going to work. It has to be reciprocal, and it needs to be reciprocal. Because at some point, the person who keeps giving will get frustrated. That relationship will get bitter. So, Learn to give and take in equal amount, whether you are a male or female. The amazing communities I am part of. 
the WordPress Mumbai community, the WooCommerce Mumbai community, the Big Orange Heart community. So this is a community which helps. This is the community which helps people who are freelancers and who don't have anyone to talk to. They've created a Slack channel. You can come and share what you're going through. If your day is as worst as minus two, you can just put minus two in the Slack. You don't need any explanation. You don't owe any explanation. It's just a place where you can be safe and pour your heart. It is a place where you feel safe and you can say anything. There are difference of opinion. There are people who have had bad days. Even I've had bad days. I've just gone and put a number. Some people explain it. Hello. Some people express what they're going through because when you express and write down in words, your heart feels a little lighter. You know, you feel you feel okay, you've taken it out, and then you, your mind starts thinking. The Hero Press uh, Slack community, the last two are the Slack communities. The ladies of WordPress, this is an international Slack community. Remote India, this is a community for all people in India who are freelancers or who want work. This community has increased dramatically in the last two and a half years. It started with five people. Today there are 2,000 plus people on that Slack. The, if you are on LinkedIn, if you're a LinkedIn fan, there's a group called WordPress Product Community. If you are a Facebook crazy person, Web Creators Community, uh, WP Bills Community, these two communities, on a daily basis, they put out, you know, how's your Monday going? And people take out two seconds or two minutes of the time and write, my Monday is going bad. I have a lot of workload. Oh, my Monday is fantastic. I'm on a holiday. And they put pictures. They put their desk pictures. The owner of these communities taking effort from their time to do this. But a lot of people have gained trust in him and is sharing personal information as well. And for me, last but not the least is my codable Slack. I have never seen these people. It's 800 people I have never seen. But the Slack is amazing. I have realized what food, good foods are in Italy. Italy. The best places to eat ice cream in Italy. The food in... Oh, Chinatown, what to eat, where to go, the movie ratings, the serial ratings. Share it. They share everything. We share memes on a daily basis. We pull people's leg. For the past six months, we've been continuously wishing someone happy birthday, happy birthday, just to irritate him. And sometimes, all 800 people go in that one channel and all irritate him. This is, if you are an agency or community, create a place where your employers can talk to themselves without any filtration, without thinking, oh, my boss will look at this, oh, my colleague will feel bad. Create that place for them to chit chat, to talk, whatever, to share their memes. Even if People don't like the movies, we put an honest opinion. But don't go into gender distinguish. Because when gender distinguish happens, it, the seniors in my codable pull them up. Because we all are equal. We don't need to treat women down or we don't need to treat women high. Because when that happens, then it blows up. Because everyone's opinion is different. And that is the time the owner should stop it. Personal achievements. I think I've said most of them. I started with meetups. I went to do action, word camps. I did do action. I did WordPress event. 2019, leading word, word camp 
what can Mumbai, my first. I never thought I would go so fast from 2016 to 2019. I still remember 2017, I was continuously tweeting about WordCamp because 2016, I didn't know what is this craze. Why is people tweeting? Why are people taking pictures? Why is this craze? Like every two seconds, people are putting on Twitter. 2017, I was amongst them because I understood social media. Someone came and approached me on Twitter officially and said, we want to interview you because you are in the other part of the world. Three days I didn't answer. Fourth day I answered. One of the question was, what is your bucket list? This was my bucket list. Being a lead organizer of WordCamp Mumbai, 2019. <laughs> Interviewed by international podcasts like Do The Woo, or WP Water Coolers. So, a lot of you all must be not knowing what is Hero Press. So, Hero Press is a website where the owner of the website, Tofer, he contacts people in the WordPress community and asks them to write a write up about their story. Long back, he contacted me. I wrote about my story. Yes, I am a dyslexic, I am a dysgraphic lab. I wrote my story. My family didn't like it. I never knew it'll come in people in WordPress. People in WordPress is a campaign run by the global marketing team in which we show the globe that there are these people who are supporting, who have done a lot in the community. Last month, there was a WordPress accessibility event. There's a guy from Bangalore. He, no, no. He was from Bangalore, now he's relocated. He has a lot of issues, he's blind. He has a lot of other physical issues. He became a speaker in WordCamp uh, in Mumbai. He went on to learn accessibility because when you have a lot of challenges in life, especially with the eyesight, you need to know how to learn the laptop. You need to know how to read the laptop. He studied code. He studied HTML. He got into developing websites for his friends and his families. He started learning theme coding. Today, he owns a company which is dedicated to accessibility. Last year, he, f went, he underwent through a major surgery. As a part of the marketing, global marketing team, I made sure that before the accessibility event, his article comes up because he is a true inspiration. Today, he is learning React. He is learning things which we developers have 10 things to think about. He needs to learn because he, if his developer screws up something, he needs to figure out a way and give it to another developer. So he needs to learn the logics. But whatever his circumstances is, he's not focusing on his circumstances, he's focusing on what is priority, and for him, WordPress accessibility is the main priority. My second best, WordPress 5.6 release squad. For me, before this, I never thought I would be a part of the release squad. For me, it was like, okay, it's score based. I will never be a release squad team. Josepha, the CCO of WordPress, she had put a tweet years back. She was thinking about a, a release squad dedicated to women. I said, I don't mind, I can be a part of it. 
These all people said yes. And that is why 5.6 is dedicated to the woman. I like marketing somehow. Being a developer, marketing is not a plus point for everyone. But somehow, marketing fascinates me. I joined the global community. I got into the marketing team. I contributed. And eventually, my name, up, my name came, as, uh, came for the nominations for the team rep. I was not ready because I did not know how much effort and time a team rep takes. Because when you are just contributing, you contribute at your own time. But being a team rep, you need to do a lot of, you, you need to invest a lot of time. I was not sure whether I would. I did it and for two years, I did it. Being a part of the marketing team helped me realize and get an opportunity to know the people around the globe. A lot of people from GoDaddy, I came to, I came to know through the marketing team. They put my name in front of Page Builder Summit to talk with their three employees just about how to handle your WooCommerce site for, for holiday season. They didn't have to. She just knew me and there was a spot available. She knew I could do it. She knows I work with WooCommerce. She recommended it. I was a part of the summit. And the best part of the summit was, we were live. It was 10.30 in the night. I finished the entire summit. Last two minutes, my internet crashed. And none of them came to know because I was frozen on screen. So thankfully, that slight error went off. Bluehost contacted me to be a jury in the WordPress Creators Award. WordFest. Since you all are new, I'll tell you what is WordFest. WordFest is an event like WordCamp, but it is run by Big Orange Heart. The money they get if anyone sponsors or big, big companies sponsor them, it goes into a fund where if anyone needs help with contacting, if anyone needs help with mental health and they don't have the finance, they contact Big Orange Heart and Big Orange Heart gives them the numbers of people to get in touch. When they had the first word camp, when they had the first word fest, I was the media partner. Second word fest, I was interviewed as a community interview. Third word, word fest, I was the speaker. Sadly, fourth word, word fest, I will not be able to attend, but fifth is on my list. As I said, partnered with community friends, opened up businesses. I have worked with people in the UK. I have got to know the UK clients. I got to know how they speak, how they deal with stuff. I've created a website for pets. Best example, Hathi Host, community business. Part of the WordPress translation day. One I have not added, which is my recent thing, I got Yoast sponsorship for my contribution towards the WordPress community. What is Yoast uh, sponsorship? Yoast is a plugin, we all know, which is dedicated into SEO. They are a company which looks at a lot of people who are self-sponsored. Self-sponsor is my time contributing is not paid by any company. Is my time, I am cutting from my own payments and contributing to the company. That's self-sponsored contributors. They give, they encourage these kind of people and give them motivation and interview them and give them an X amount as a small token of appreciation. I never thought anyone would nominate me. 
after this talk, you're inspired and you continue with Nagpur community and you want to share your journey with me after X amount of months or years, get in touch with me on Twitter. I would love to host you all on Unplug Tech. I would love to share your story, your journey with the rest of the world. Because when your journey is shared, other people realize that other people are also doing the same thing. You can contact me on Twitter, meher, uh, at meherbala.com, or you can contact me by my website, meherbala.com. That's all. Thank you for being a very patient audience. Any questions? Okay, I'll definitely encourage everyone to join the community because Nagpur community gave me mayor. <laughs> so please uh, be forward and join uh, any community that you wish to join. Uh, now it's time for high tea. High tea uh, will be served here and later on we'll be having panel discussions. Thank you. And if you're, and if you're scared now, talk to people. Call Abhishek. Call her. Call. Abhishek. I also met my husband through community, so <laughs> please do. Yeah, a, lo a lot of stories I've heard. You can gain your partner through the community as well. But don't make that as primary, please. Yeah. Because then that's very creepy. Abhishek. One minute is coming. Abhishek. <coughs> Hello. I thought you were Abhishek. What, yaar? Okay, if y'all want to talk, the organizer Abhishek is there, he's nice, he's sweet, he'll listen to you, talk to him. If y'all are confused, talk to him. Ladies, if y'all want anything, y'all can talk to Nikita, she's a new member of the community. She's, my, she's a representative woman in the Nagpur community. Thank you, everyone.